fucking good. Fuck off. Whoa, his health. But I swear that I used those fucking things like earlier and they didn't do anything. Oh my god, the fucking reload. The fucking constant need to reload. I got him! Boss. This is the end of the Copras. You've got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. To join the shop. Control. Do you read me? I'm coming home. I see the earth. That took so long. But hello everybody, Soul Zero here, back with another episode of Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Um, yeah, I, I've been struggling really badly with trying to beat the, the Fury. So, yeah.
We're gonna stick with the desert. Yeah, that, that boss fight was a pain in the ass. Definitely the hardest boss fight so far that I've had to deal with. Finally made it inside Grosnigrad. Finally. Stay alert. This is the enemy's main base. Security here is on a scale you haven't encountered yet. No kidding. Your objective is the weapons lab. It's the giant building in the center of the fortress. Sokolov is in the west wing of that building. To get into the area where Sokolov is imprisoned, you'll need to find Major Rykov. Steal his clothes and disguise yourself as him. Rykov is supposed to be in the east wing of the weapons lab. Start out by sneaking into the east wing of the weapons lab, then neutralize Rykov and take his clothes. The weapons lab is to the northeast of the area you're in now. Head northeast. You say Granin's shoes were rigged with a transmitter? That sounds like something the KGB's been working on lately. It's exactly like you described, a miniature transmitter that's small enough to put in a shoe. Granin said he got the shoes from a woman called Tatiana. You think she's a KGB spy? Could be. Or maybe it's some kind of ploy to throw suspicion on you. Anyway, it's your job to find out. Good point. All right. Definitely don't want to use this. Damn. Oh, that was a little worrisome. I don't want to... Did I alert?
Fucking hell. Okay, so I can't go through there. No, fuck! Why, why is it so fucking hard? Oh my god, dude. Huh? Oh. Right there? No. You did not see me. Good. Fuck, dude. Not trying to get just fucking caught twenty four seven. Oh, hey. I gotta eat my thing is very wobbly. What if there's like an actual like toy or something of that? Gotta keep on crawling, because there's really no way for me to get up there. Unless... Okay. That's my only way. Oh my god. Is there anything that I could use that will camouflage me here? Wow. Oof. Okay, so I guess we'll use this. Okay, yep. Come on. Whew. 
All right. We're in the east wing, so now we got to go find the guy that looks exactly like Raiden. God damn you motherfuckers! Privacy, motherfucker! Okay, you took two to the face. I'm gonna take him if you guys don't mind. Um, wait, yes, backpack. Don't, no one come in here, please. How do I take his clothes? How? 
do I grab his fucking clothes? Could you guys... Do I kill him for them? Do I take the clothes? Good. You've taken care of Rykov. Now to take those clothes he's wearing. But don't take his clothes off there, out in the open. It's far too conspicuous. Also, once you've disguised yourself as Rykov, you'll need to find some place to hide the real Rykov's body. There must be a place where you can take Rykov's clothes and hide his body. Drag Rykov's body over there. Eva might know a suitable location. Try asking her. If Rykov's corpse is found, you'll no longer be able to disguise yourself as him. Whatever you do, don't let them find the body. Is that clear? You took care of Rykov? Good. Now drag him to the locker room. There shouldn't be anyone in there. You won't need to worry about anyone seeing you take his clothes, and you can hide his body too. The locker room is on the southwest side of the second floor. Hurry and take him there. If someone discovers Rykov's dead body, you won't be able to disguise yourself as him anymore. That means you won't be able to sneak into the West Wing either. And if that happens, you failed your mission. Take Rykov's body somewhere where you're sure it won't be found, okay? I just want to know, why does he look like Raiden? Enemy soldiers who operate indoors aren't equipped with radios. To communicate with command, they'll have to use the radio-equipped alarm systems located on the walls. If you're spotted by an enemy, you can avoid going into alert phase by taking him out before he can use the alarm system. Okay, but what was with the... God, dude. Oh my fucking god. Where are you fucking little pussy ass bitches?
Ah, uh, yep, there, yep. Good, I want to redo it. <laughs> There's just almost no fucking way. Hold on, okay. To make sure I have the tranquilizer. Who's that? What? Who the fuck spotted me? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? It happened again. Whoa, I got stuck on the door. Why are you hiding in the bathroom? Just take the body and disguise myself. I gotta take care of him too. There, don't worry, you're just asleep. Not killing everybody right now. I don't wanna kill any more people, I just wanna dis. You guys get up way too fucking early.
How? How? Oh wait, no, wrong guy, wrong guy, wrong guy. No, 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 no. Scorpion. Oh, it's a caliber. Okay. Where did you say it was? You took care of Rykov? Good. Now drag him to the locker room. There shouldn't be anyone in there. You won't need to worry about anyone seeing you take his clothes, and you can hide his body too. The locker room is on the southwest side of the second floor. Hurry and take him there. I have to drag him all the way up those fucking stairs. Where exactly is the locker room? Is it this? Okay. Where do you go? Fuck, I'm in the wrong room. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna kill those fucking doctors. Finally!
<laughs> the lightning bolt in the right in picture. <laughs> Alright. Camouflage. Oh, there's no way it's a 30%. I look like the motherfucker. Fuck, dude. It took forever. Thank God for the Raiden mask. Even though it says 15%. I should be blending in a lot more than that. Sir. You can count on me. What about the Philosopher's Legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you... Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the Legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh! from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagahods. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for phase two are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it. In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? 
that's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohard, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress, capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass-produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes. And that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohar as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohard will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow... Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy, who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh no, she is Vulcan's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me. Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the U.S.? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To 
be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please, watch over my family. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. fairy disguise. It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay out of this! See why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? <sighs> of course. But first. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. <laughs>
Well, uh, that's going to be all for this episode. <laughs> Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that other good stuff. And to be continued on Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater.